I welcome you to today's training video, where I will present the design phases. With the help of phase and phase filters, I will create the new plan starting from the state of an existing plan. The phases can be tracked in full documentation, so 3D views, sections, elevations, and consignation lists follow the status of the current phase. The aim of the project is to modernize an old one-room apartment in the city center. I'm going to convert this into a two-room apartment. Let's look at the floor plan. There is an entrance hall, a dining room, a kitchen, a bathroom and a large room, where the living room and bedroom are in one space. The new owner requests that I create a separate bedroom and a living room with an American kitchen. The plan is clearer if I turn off the equipment layer on the floor plan so that I can only deal with the architectural elements. I will rebuild the 3D model, so that we can see only the architectural elements there. The main steps of the transformation are as follows. The first step is the site survey, when we create an existing plan, which can be seen here on the floor plan. The next step is the demolition plan and then I will create a construction plan depicting the new state. We will go through these steps now, using phase filters and phase commands. Let's see where these can be found. The phase commands can be found under phases in the edit menu. I will use these three commands. The phase filters can be found in the status bar. I will use the existing plan, the demolition plan, the post demolition plan, the new construction plan, and all phase filters. The advantage of phases is that, we can prepare the different construction phases in one project, and easily document and compare them. It is not necessary to create separate projects with different design states, which contains many possibilities for errors. Let's see how these phases work in practice. First, I'm going to put this vertical wall in a state to be demolished. As I showed earlier, we will find the status modification commands under the edit phases tab. I will use the command to switch to the state to be demolished. I click on the wall I want to demolish, and close the command with enter. Now it looks like nothing happened, as the existing plan phase filter is turned on. When I set the demolition plan phase filter on the status bar, you can see that the wall appears with a red dashed line. The reason for this is that, the display of the wall to be demolished in the graphic override dialog, is set to a red dashed line. I will show you, where to find the graphic override. It is available in two places, with the clip icon in the status bar, or with the graphic override command in the phase menu. In the demolition plan, it appears that graphic override is set for the elements to be demolished. If I look at the graphic override settings, I can see that the default setting is a red dashed line. I will talk about graphic overrides in more detail during the presentation. Now I'm going to continue demolishing more walls. I'm also going to demolish this horizontal wall, so I have to change it to demolished status. I click on the wall with the right mouse button, and select the state to be demolished from the local menu. The existing state is now not visible because the wall is currently in the existing state. So it can only be changed to a new state or a state to be demolished. Now I'm setting it to demolished status. However, this will not be good, because I only want to set one section of the wall to be demolished. If I screw something up, I either go back with the undo button, or restore it to the current state in the phase menu. If I want to set only this wall section to be demolished, I can choose between two solutions. With the right mouse button, I click on the section of the wall that I want to remove, then in the edit menu I select the command cut with the wall. Here I cut the wall, and then I can set the appropriate part to be demolished. If there is no such wall connection, I click on the wall with the right mouse button, and in the edit menu I choose the command cut with a line. I enter the horizontal line, where I want to cut the wall, and the program cuts the wall in half. If I don't want to see the horizontal line between the two walls, I can connect the walls with the wall T connection. Now it looks like a wall again. 
If I click on it, it shows that this wall consists of two separate wall sections, and I can change the corresponding part to the state to be demolished. I am going to withdraw this now, because that was not my goal. I will continue the work by removing the windows and doors. I will use the same command to set the doors and windows to be demolished. I am going to replace these doors and windows with new ones. I will replace one of the doors with a sliding door, then I will move this window to the right. To do this, I need to put it in a demolished state. I select the windows and doors that I want to be demolished. Let's see the model in the 3D view. The walls that I want to be demolished are marked in red, and the location of the window is filled in red, because the hole is filled up by the program. I go back to the floor plan, and continue working with the next phase. I will turn on the phase filter of the existing plan after demolition. Now I will only see the remaining walls, the demolished walls disappeared. In the place of the windows, there is a hole, and this can also be seen in the 3D view. On the floor plan, I switch to the new construction plan phase. In the new construction plan phase, I will create new walls. I will copy this wall. With the reference point I will place the new wall 3000 mm from the right corner. I will create another room, a separate toilet. I right click on the wall, and select create similar command. By specifying the reference point, I will place the new wall 1000 mm from the corner. Its length will be 1650 mm. The new room is ready. In the next step, the new doors and windows must be created. I will place the front doors and windows first. At the moment, it is not visible where the door and window that I designated for demolition was. To make it visible, you have to switch to the all phase filter. The existing items are now visible. I have to pay close attention to the state in which I create the new doors and windows. If I try to put the new door in place of the existing door in the existing state, the program will not allow it. Let's try it. I'll click on it and move the copy and try to place it here. It can be seen that the placement failed. The red error message appeared at the bottom and the new door was automatically deleted. Therefore, it is necessary to switch to the new construction state because this is how I will be able to place the new doors and windows. The new door and window will replace the door and window to be demolished. I place the door and window with the move copy command. I specify the opening direction and continue the work by copying another window. I will place it in place of the door. I move the next window 900 mm from the right wall. I need to create two interior doors in the new rooms. I will also use the move copy command. I place the new door 50 mm from the right corner. I specify the opening direction, and it's done. I draw your attention again, that in this case there will be no double doors and windows in the given place. It only appears twice, because the all element phase filter is selected and in this case the walls and windows to be demolished as well as the new walls and windows are visible. In the next step, I set the program to represent the walls to be demolished and the new walls, with a different color and type of line. I will use the graphical override command, which we have already seen at the beginning of this video. The graphic override replaces the original color of the elements with a uniform color. This will make the drawing much clearer. Actually, there is no overwrite for the new construction state. Existing elements are not overwritten either, so they appear with the original black line and hatching. The elements to be demolished will be displayed with a red dashed line. 
Now, when the all phase filter is active, I will change the overwriting of the new elements and the elements to be demolished. In the dialog I will select the dark blue color for the new elements. For the line type, I will select dashed line. A half tone means that a lighter blue will appear. I accept the change with OK. Now I change the override of the elements to be demolished. I'm going to choose a deep burgundy color and set the half tone and dashed line type as well. Let's see how the floor plan has changed. It can be seen that the plan has become much clearer. The program now shows the walls and windows to be demolished in red, and the new walls and windows in blue. Let's look at the 3D view. The 3D view follows the graphic override settings. On the demolition plan, the walls I selected for demolition are shown in red. The 3D model is constantly updated as the floor plan changes. The following state is the existing plan after demolition. Here, only the holes remain and the wall to be demolished disappears. Next, I will select the new construction plan phase, where the new walls and windows will appear. In this phase, we will only see the existing and new elements in the 3D model and floor plan view. There is no graphical override set here. I am ready with the demolition plan and the new construction plan. In the next step, I will prepare the print documentation. I will create a print layout with a 3 format without printing stamp. The print layout is created. I will place the ground floor plan first. I would like to place the existing floor plan and the new construction floor plan next to each other. I activate the floor plan and set the existing plan phase filter. I activate the print layout and drag the ground floor plan from the project navigator onto the sheet with a scale of 1 to 50. I place it on the sheet and then rotate it so that the two floor plans fit next to each other. I will also place the new construction plan. I have two options for this. The first option is to change the phase filter on the floor plan to the new construction plan and drag the ground floor plan once more. The other option is to drag the ground floor plan again without any changes and modify it directly on the sheet to the new construction plan. I place it in the same way with a scale of 1 to 50 and rotate it. Now both drawings show the existing floor plan. In the second drawing, I will show the new construction plan. I click on it, select the pencil icon, and in the dialog, I click on phase filter. I select the new construction plan state. After closing the dialog, the floor plan changes. The existing floor plan can be seen on the left, and the new construction plan status on the right. Now I would like to show you the drawing comparison command, how the design phases can be compared. I activate the floor plan and use the compare between two phases command. This is the fourth option. In the dialog, you must set the color of the walls and windows. By setting the floor plan, the phase option will be active. With the filters, I can choose to have the existing plan as one drawing and the new construction plan as the other drawing. I choose to mark the walls to be demolished in red on the existing plan. On the new construction plan, show the new walls in blue. After closing the dialog, the program creates the comparison drawing. This is similar to the all phase filter, but it is a simple drawing that is created for documentation purposes. It can be placed on the print layout. I go back to the floor plan and after setting the all phase filter, you can see a similar view. I notice that a door is missing from the floor plan. A sliding door must be placed in place of the demolished door. I set the door properties with the right mouse button. The type is an indoor sliding door. I set the width and the distance from the wall.
I will place it in place of the demolished door. I specify the opening direction. It is important to place it in the new phase. Since I have already created the printing layout and the comparison drawing, they need to be updated to see the change. I activate the print layout, click on the new design with the right mouse button, and select the refresh command. The updated drawing will then appear with the newly placed sliding door. The print layout is ready. Now I will also update the comparison drawing. I activate the comparison window, click on the drawing with the right mouse button, and select the update comparison command. Change is happening here too. Now I'm activating the floor plan. I will choose the new construction plan phase, and in the layer quick walk dialog I will turn on the layer for the furniture made for the new layout. At the request of the new owner, we designed the new bedroom, the living room with American kitchen, and a separate toilet. I'm done with the task. Let's look at the change in the 3D view. I am rebuilding the 3D model, so that we can see the equipment. This is the end of today's tutorial video. I hope, it was useful for you. Thank you very much for staying with me.